Hello beautiful people, I'm Ryan, Leveling Up at Life. Thanks for joining us today. We're doing my favorite thing in the world and messing with my tools. So from previous videos, you saw us organize vast majority of things that were going on in our basement. And we kind of left the tools alone as kind of a, we'll touch those when we need to. Well, now we're getting to the stage of where we need to. We're gonna be installing a pegboard on the actual wall itself. Not directly, of course. We're gonna be placing fur strips down on the wall in order to connect up the pegboard. That allows a little bit of an air gap in between the pegboard and the actual wall so that you can have little anchors or hooks that connect up to the pegboard space to be able to operate. So we're gonna be installing all of that. I'll show you what it looks like on the ground first and then we'll toss it all up on the wall. We'll just probably knock this out in the afternoon, maybe a couple of hours, not gonna be a big deal. All right, let's just jump into it. So my beautiful wife went to Lowe's in order to pick up all the materials, thanks Nicole. So we got some one by ones that we're gonna use on the, uh, on the concrete wall, as well as these two and a quarter inch concrete anchors. So they are exactly these um, concrete anchors. Hey, I got it right the first time. Um, we're gonna use those in order to screw into the actual uh, foundation or I guess I should say wall. We'll say wall. We're gonna use these guys to screw into the actual wall. So you can see it, it's gonna be like this. Um, we'll place up the fur, the one by one fur strip uh, up against the wall. We'll screw into the wall with this much. We use probably four of these per uh, fur strip. And I'm thinking I'm gonna set up three fur strips. Um, we'll see how that looks on the wall when we have that together. But I think I might lay it all out right here so it's a little bit easier to see actually. No, I'm saying it out loud. This is a 4x4 by 3 16th pegboard tempered service perf. Um, it's pretty good for tossing up tools on the wall pretty quickly. And we also got uh, a, a starter kit, a couple of hooks and anchors in order to get everything started right. Um, but that's pretty much all the materials you need. So pretty much where we're at right now is we got this one with one screw in it of the five that need to go in for it. Uh, we're going to attach this one fully to the wall before we move on to any of the other ones. It's going to be kind of the foundation of the basing for the rest of it. So that's what we're going to do next pretty much. So here's the bit, pretty much just sheared off completely. So broken up in half, nice and busted. So that's great. That's why we wear safety glasses though.
All right, <clears throat> got the drill bits. So we're gonna go ahead and toss everything up on the wall and we'll pretty much get back to you as soon as we're done. I'm gonna try a couple things to make this work out a little bit better and we'll see what we can do. Then I'll get Nicole down here to do a reaction for it. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Nicole loves me. Oh, I like it. It could be, um, I think we need to figure out the organization, but it looks really good. Yeah. Uh, no, this is kind of, this is kind of nice. And then obviously a few things have to work out, but I mean, I think it looks really good. Yeah. You did good, baby. Thank you. No, I like it, it looks really good. And it only took you, I mean, it took you all afternoon. All afternoon, but hey, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was worried about drilling into the wall in yeah. the first place. So. Well, I mean, there's reason. I mean, if you look at the major failure, that was the worst it got. Love it. Mm -hmm. Want some more of it? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this project. Everything I wanted on the wall is now on the wall, and that was the goal for this week. So. I'm ecstatic about where we're at right now, even though Nicole is throwing some serious shade. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're new here and you want to get all the updates about our family, fitness, and finance-centered goals, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get all the notifications, go ahead and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.